everyone and welcome back to Adventure Dream Team's channel. Xeni is here and as you can see there is an unusual video today because I'm starting this series of vlog style videos about me and in the following videos you can also see my team members from Adventure Dream Team. So we're not going to teach you here about the North Caucasus region and how to travel here but we would like to introduce ourselves, tell you why we do what we do, why we've started with this project and what brought us together. So if you're interested, continue watching this video. in Piatigorsk, which is the capital of the North Caucasus Federal District. So I invite you for a walk and I will show you a couple of my favorite places and will tell you my story. Let's go! Although I lived in many different places like St. Petersburg, Moscow, Frankfurt, one little town in Bavaria in Germany, it seems that my life was always somehow connected to the North Caucasus. And yes, I was born and raised in Piatigorsk. I went to school here. However, back then I couldn't say that this region was special to me uh, because I didn't realize that. And I didn't have anything to compare. I didn't travel as much as I do now. Um, so yeah, I think I started to analyze and realize that uh, when I moved to St. Petersburg first for my university, and I really missed uh, what we have here as the landscape, like I, I really like mountains and I really like uh, the amount of sun <laughs> that we actually have here during the year, no matter uh, whether it's winter or spring or summer. So um, yeah, I think uh, the more I travel, the more I uh, missed my own region. So the other thing that affected my perception of the region happened on one of my trips. I was in Latvia in 2012, I guess, and we had an excursion with some geography students um, and the local geographers, they showed us uh, the places around uh, Riga, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the town was called Sigulda. And they were so passionate and so proud about uh, this region. They showed us around. And um, I remember the moment when they said, oh, and this is our uh, highest point of the whole country. And the mountain, the mountain was something around uh, 500 meters, if I'm not mistaken. And I was all shocked and I was all surprised how actually they were you know, the, just the comparison of uh, the way they were talking to us and the places they actually showed. And uh, it may be thinking uh, that actually we have so many places around uh, the North Caucasus, but people, they, they're never proud of those places. They always say, oh, uh, this is uh, so embarrassing. We have, you know, um, garbage here, or maybe it's embarrassing we have, um, the old-fashioned, I don't know, benches or whatever. And uh, those people, they made me thinking that actually you can be proud of your native region without uh, having new infrastructure or without having something that the other regions have. And um, yeah, and that's how I came to the point that the other people have to see the North Caucasus just because uh, I want to see their reaction. Because I know that we have a lot of places that are really great, that are really beautiful. And that's how I've seriously started to think about organizing uh, my own trip to the North Caucasus. So I've been a member of European Geography Association and it means that uh, we have a large community of geographers from all over Europe and they are always inspired, they are always motivated to go anywhere. And I thought, okay, if uh, there are those people who can actually see uh, different places, they can compare. So I was really curious to see their reaction on the North Caucasus because they already have experience and yeah let's see what happens 
and um, that's how in 2013 the first uh, tour took place um, in the North Caucasus. There were around 20 or 22 or something geographers from absolutely different countries and it was absolutely cool and I got really great feedback. Um, so mainly the tour was like a hiking tour. We spent uh, one week in the mountains and then a couple of days uh, before and after having some excursions around, so like in Piatigorsk and some other places around. And uh, yeah, it motivated me uh, to repeat it um, every year uh, again and again. And uh, then I started to think that actually this could be a separate project, this could be something more than just uh, tours for our little community. And in 2019, so last year, I met Julia and we came to the point that we need to uh, register this as a separate project, as a business. and yeah show the world that the north caucasus is actually here and it's beautiful and it's stunning and people must come and see it because we can share the love to this region we can show a lot of uh, cultural uh, historical and natural places and here we are <laughs> My role at Adventure Dream Team is to inspire and to make a good plan. Yeah, that's what I usually say, but of course there are a lot of other things that I'm doing. Uh, for example, I'm uh, always searching for some new partners and I'm doing some PR and I organize hiking trips. Well, there are a lot truly a lot natural historical places I love them all and every time you ask me I would answer it differently so for today my list uh, would definitely start with Piatigorsk I love this city uh, for its atmosphere so quiet and peaceful so it's really perfect for having those relaxing vacation the second place is actually the whole Republic, which I can definitely recommend visiting to anyone coming to the North Caucasus. It's Kabardino Balka Republic. What most travelers already know is that it has uh, Mount Elbrus, which is the highest peak, uh, at least in Russia, but some consider that it's also the highest in Europe. There are a lot of other places uh, where you can actually uh, find the viewpoints to Elbrus, or you can simply go hiking uh, somewhere in the mountains. So Brazilian Balka Republic should definitely be on your list. And of course I cannot avoid mentioning Dagestan Republic. It's like a completely different world. So if you're gonna come here uh, just make a separate trip to Dagestan. You will find everything in this one republic. There is a fantastic nature, there are fantastic people, uh, cuisine and a lot a lot more. So spend seven or ten or as many days as you have in this republic and I'm sure you will love it. So one tip that I can give to all international travelers would be forget all you've heard from the media about our region. Now really most of information is outdated and uh, the other information is full of stereotypes. And what I want to say is that nowadays we should trust people more than the media. And uh, here I am, I'm talking about the Caucasus. I've been living here for quite a while and uh, we have travelers from all over the world. There are a lot of Russian travelers uh, visiting this region every now and then, especially this year. And yeah, uh, it's absolutely worth visiting, especially if you like adventures, especially if you like uh, something unique, especially if you like uh, some interesting cultures and fantastic nature as well. So yeah, just come and visit and see it yourself and don't be afraid.